Mercedes-Benz was once considered a leader among legacy automakers in the electric vehicle EV race. However, changing market dynamics and cooling EV growth have led the company to postpone its rapid electrification plans. Here are six major reasons for this shift. One, slow EV sales. Mercedes-Benz's EV sales have been underwhelming, revealing that market projections were overly optimistic. Dealer lots are filled with unsold EVs, indicating low demand. Data from last October showed that Mercedes models like the EQE and EQS SUV have significantly higher market day supplies than the industry average, with the EQE at 144 days and the EQS SUV at 221 days, compared to the EV average of 57 days. Only the EQB performed decently, with an 88-day supply. A price war led by Tesla and Ford has exacerbated the situation, resulting in a 21% profit drop in Q4 last year. 2. High EV prices. Mercedes-Benz's EVs are expensive, making them inaccessible to many customers. The company's focus on luxury has driven prices up, with even the cheapest model, the EQB, starting at around $52,000. High prices combined with rising interest rates have pushed the company to introduce more affordable models. New releases this year, including the E-Class, CLE Coupe, and plug-in hybrid GLC, are all internal combustion engine ICE cars aimed at stabilizing profit margins with lower price tags. 3. New ICE lineup. Unlike some competitors like Audi, Mercedes-Benz has not committed to going fully electric in the near future. Instead, it is working on a completely new lineup of ICE models, expected to be redesigned within the next two years. Company officials argue that given the current market challenges and lack of infrastructure for EVs, internal combustion engines will remain in production for many more years. 4. Development of a new EV platform. Mercedes-Benz is developing a new EV platform to address profitability issues. Despite high prices, the current EV models are not profitable. The new platform, expected by 2026, aims to cut production costs by a third, potentially making EV is more affordable and profitable. The current high-end strategy has proven unsustainable and more affordable models are necessary to compete in the market. 5. Stalling EV growth. The rapid EV market growth seen in recent years has slowed significantly. The phase of early adopters is over and customers are now more aware of the drawbacks of EVs such as range limitations and charging issues. Mercedes-Benz officials expect EV sales to grow at the slowest rate since 2019, forecasting that EVs and plug-in hybrids will constitute 1921% of their sales this year. With this slowdown, the company is refreshing its ICE lineup to maintain profitability. 6. Revised Electrification Timeline Mercedes-Benz initially aimed for 50% of its sales to be electrified models by 2025. However, due to current market dynamics and slow sales, this target has been pushed to 2030. The company needs better technology and lower prices to compete effectively with rivals like Tesla. The new platform is expected to offer lower production costs and improved battery technology, which could lead to more competitive pricing. A notable upcoming model is the all-electric CLA, which promises a range of 466 miles, potentially surpassing the Tesla Model 3. In conclusion, Mercedes-Benz is recalibrating its electrification strategy in response to market realities. While not abandoning EVs, the company is slowing its pace and focusing on developing new technologies and more affordable models to ensure long-term viability and competitiveness in the evolving automotive market. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button to stay informed as this story unfolds.